Uh, yeah. yeah. And so the equivalent to manga would be manhwa. And manhwa is the general term for comics and print cartoons in Korea. Although it primarily refers to South Korean comics, there are comics in North Korea. They're just, you know, less accessible to us. And manhwa has become very easily acceptable to people in the West, actually, through webtoons. And webtoons are online comics from payable sites such as Lesson Comics and Ktoon. And because of the boom in technology, comics are now actually meant to, meant to be read more on apps for your smartphone than your actual computer, which contributes to their popularity. Online mediums in Manhwa have now reached equal at the amount of those published online, which is very cool. And the example that we have here is Make Me Bark. <laughs> if you know what it is, go ahead, give a cheer, expose yourself, go on. <laughs> Whoever you were that cheered, me too. <laughs> and so, um, we have the typical plot style of a man needing a place to live, his job does not pay enough for him to rent his own apartment, and so he stays with the naturally rich, good-looking classmate that we all wish we had, and <laughs> figures, well, I can't pay this guy back, but he really misses his childhood dog, so I guess if he wants to jack me off a few times, I might as well let him. <laughs> Beautiful art style, wonderful. There's also a side couple, a guy that's been in love with a man that was in love with his brother for many years, and it's messy, and the guy will only date people who has, well, huge dick. <laughs> the art style in Manhwa is often characterized by large white gaps and prominent header titles, which can get kind of annoying when you're scrolling through the app and they've left off on a cliffhanger and you have to scroll, scroll, scroll through the white before you actually get back to the relevant stuff and it wastes like half the update. Mm -hmm. So, I think that it would be good. Does anybody have anything that they would like to add or maybe they have a good experience? In, has anybody, okay. Raise your hand, has anybody read Manhwa in this room? Alright, so why don't we go around and list a couple of ones that we like. Go on, raise your hand. I know, no, I'm Come just like, I'm like, um, oh. You yeah, tell me what it is, why do, you, oh. why do you like it? Oh, okay. Well, um, kill stalking? Actually, yeah, kill stalking? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 that was actually my first, uh, I'm not sure if it's considered, but uh, it, it was my first, actually. Yeah, I was like, I was like, that's your but, uh, what a way I, to I jump into that. I just kept seeing it online, and, and, and just a weird comparison, like, like first, first you see Yuri on Ice, and then next year, year there's Kill Stalking, and I'm like, what is this? So I just read it, and liked it. It's, 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 I, yeah, I know it's messed up, but I love it. I know, my Twitter feed is a mess. <laughs> I can't think of the name anymore. Like, like, what thing? Like, Ooh, what yeah, there say? we go. That's that's some good stuff right there. What did she say? What did she say? Uh, I don't window know. to window? Or window to that window? That one's mm -hmm. good. Uh, the Tower of God is not necessarily all quite low, but all the male characters obviously gave for the male lead. Yeah, that's good. 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 Yeah, uh, this author is actually known for gender bender, so in some sense you could be L in it, but it's not technically be L. And there was like the other one.
ones like Crazy Girl Shin Mia, I, I thought that was really good, but yeah, I would recommend Love Mask, just for Hank Day, it was like really good, just for like Very cool, very cool. My first BL manga was Killer Stalking also. But I didn't really like it for the BL, I took the story because it was really interesting. But I was reading one name, uh, called Sign where the guy runs a coffee shop and he's deaf, but he has like the most amazing, like beautiful voice and this guy can the job calls for That was really good too. Might have to look that one up, that it's my recommendations. I love your hair by the way. Uh, I think my first uh, manual would probably be either Blood Bank or Out of Control, and both of those are really good, and I recommend them. I think it's called 19 Days. I just I, yes. It, yes. okay, okay, yes, okay. That's what it's called. 19 like, Days counts. Okay, totally counts. Yeah, Long term oh, favorite. Okay. Not quite a one shot. Um, how did they go to his doggy? Which. Love of Dog, cannot remember any Malika names at the moment. But this particular one has a 50 50 chance of her works being essentially full of mushy couples and really enthusiastic consent. And that's love what I'm here for. <laughs> we love a good, fully consented thing. Yeah. <laughs> So the first one I read was also out of control, which I really love the art style, but I also really like Raising a Bat, because oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I like that for once the vampire isn't like skeevy and weird, he's like totally normal and really sweet and such a soft boy, so I really like that one. A good, good boy. I'm sure you read that one, just for my... <laughs> One of the things that draws people to manhwa more and more recently versus just reading regular manga is, well, to be honest, one thing and one thing alone. The muscles. <laughs> the men got a lot of muscles mm -hmm. and sometimes it's nice to sit there and either just enjoy it or kind of analyze why, why we're more attracted to muscular bodies and why media with <laughs> muscular bodies is um, why in BL manga men are usually portrayed more feminine or hyper feminine and what that says about sexuality. Okay, we got, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, you just sat down, I apologize. <laughs> um, we have our trivia number five. Upon its debut, this Korean manhwa was met in part with both acclaim and condem condemnation. While fans praise the story's intricate handle of darker themes, displaying content such as psychological manipulation, physical abuse, and kidnapping, opponent okay. opponents denounced it for allegedly romanticizing Stockholm Syndrome. I apologize. A grand prize winner of Lyceum Comics Award named this manhwa that is listed under both the BL and horror categories. Hmm. Killing stalking. There we go. That's the winner. You have the choice between yellow and yellow. <laughs> Whichever one will I choose? Whichever one will you choose? Killing stalking is pretty interesting because while it is extremely messed up, and I won't deny that fact, the story is just so good. Not because of the relationship, and not because it's good to romanticize a violent relationship, but because it kind of intermingles the BL genre with horror and psychological horror in a way that I really have not seen done before.
And we have tree number five, which is a bonus band wall round. This webtoon was published by Lesbian Comics in 2016 and was quickly <laughs> and illegally re-uploaded on the Manga Reader websites. Periodically ranked as one of the top BL on the site, this manhwa features a storyline about a BDSM loving vampire living in a futuristic dystopia. Your hand fell so fast. <laughs> Blood bank. There we go. But your hand shrub, like, <laughs> so you love dystopias, or you love vampires who love to get it on, you should read loving. about this I'm up here like fiddling with the mic because I came in and it was really loose and so like I've been trying to fix it the whole time so I apologize for technical difficulties on my part but we're gonna go around right now and we're gonna list some general favorites in the manga category so if you got a favorite manga which I know you do be a manga you know preferably <laughs> go ahead and let's raise our hand and let's talk about what's our favorite and why it's our favorite I just I love to get crowds involved so you're free wreck, wreck me some stuff I haven't read a lot I, I don't know what it's called in Japanese but it, it's translated to twittering birds never fly and I, I'm trying to find find that manga here and here right now and I'm having trouble finding it but I think it's by Yo Yolanda Yolanda Ko? Or? I, I don't know. She, yeah, so I just really like the story and of course the sex scenes are gorgeous, so everything's gorgeous. What? You're just like... One of my favorites is Let Die. Maybe because the artwork is beautiful in it and it deals with a lot of real, you know, real time problems that teenagers have. All this. But it's a beautiful, beautiful story. And it's, there's probably about 20 to 20 dollars. Very good. Very cool. Okay, so it's not really yaoi, but um, Meredith knows why and what it is. It's Devil Man. It's one of the retro uh. manga, and it's basically about, like, I can't really get into the details without spoiling it, but it's about this guy whose friend comes into his life one day and is like, become a devil with me, with me. let's go to hell together, and it's just perfect. It's the perfect amount of... <laughs> Horror and it's just it's beautiful um and, and and it's extremely hilarious because it's was made in late 1960s early 70s so it's exactly the manga is just so goofy looking even though it tries so hard to be serious my favorite thing in the world about that is um Ryu sitting at the driver's seat and going my father died it's then smiling broadly because the author doesn't know how to draw a frown, apparently, and going, and now I am completely alone. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, about that. Um, the manga is officially out in the U.S. now, but um, it's in, like, um, two-volume format, like two volumes per one volume, and it's, like, five volumes long. 
Um, I'm a really big fan of Kinonai Tabata, which is a uh, What Did You Eat Yesterday? It's really fluffy. Um, it's just like these two, they're just lovers, and they like, a lot of it just involves them cooking together after like stressful jobs. One's a lawyer. It's a, uh, it's actually just really sweet and like, it's one of those pure hard ones, you know. Yeah, if you like that, I would definitely recommend um, what did you eat yesterday? Recipe no Oji Sama by Junko, which yes. is a beautiful manga and utilizes not only the, I'm just sort of moving in with this trope guy, but also, um, I ate this man's cooking and now I'm in love with him. It's not my all-time favorite, but one of my favorites is Tadama Okairi, which is an adorable megaverse about a couple and just them dealing with being a alpha omega couple and having their child and having another child for some reason. Is someone called? Feel that it involves having children. It's just like one of my favorites. Ask about love. <laughs> Just kind of curious, how the not sorry, not to put you on roast, but how the rest of y'all feel about um, ABO, yay or nay? Yay. Yay? Yeah. Oh, another thing, this one's so Don't shame me. <laughs> Don't shame me. <laughs> so we got a couple yays from the audience, and then we also got a couple shaky hands, a couple uh. <laughs> To each their own. Yeah, I'm a garbage can. You could just call me out on it, but like, don't hurt me. Depends entirely on the world building because every author writes alpha, beta, omega differently, that's true. You get yeah. the oh, that's true. interpretations of it. And I found some people who actually manage to handle it in a not consensually problematic and disgusting way. But other people, holy shit, they need more trigger warnings. Mm. <laughs> Fair. True. I'm sure we've all been quite a bit of disturbing stuff in our time. It's totally back. It's like. This one's good. This, this one's kind of older, as there's this, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the old BL group that translated Nakama. Nakama translated this. It's uh, Bukio Na Silent by Hinako Takanaga. It's, it was released in America as Awkward Silence about like, the first <gasps> yes! of two awkward boys, one that's stone faced and doesn't ever talk, and the other guy, you know, and he loves the guy, but, you know, he, he's awkward. He can't, you know, and it's Didn't kind you get of their that? first love. Today. You know, the yeah. relationship growing. It's really cute. It's cute. Very cool. That reminds me of, um, there's another manga series by the woman who wrote Juju Romanica, and it's called Sakaichi Hasukoi, or World's Greatest First Love. And it follows her same sort of style of establishing three or four couples and drawing them with very bad hands. <laughs> and it's just a train wreck. I'll be honest with you, it's a train wreck. People have draft necks, there's huge hands flying around everywhere. A disaster. You want a real disaster? <gasps> a story called Sex Pistols. Take it, man. Would it be okay if I say two that I kind of like? Yeah, go for it. One is Rezoku no Hanayome. It is about an actor. He goes out into like the forest and they're looking for a nudist colony and then he gets kidnapped by the nudist colony. And they're all very attractive and one of the members of the nudist colony falls in love with them and they unknowingly get married. Amazing. What? <laughs> what a trip. Huh? The colony person knows they got married, but you know, he can't speak to the colony people because there's a language barrier. So he doesn't know that he got married. He just knows it's a ceremony for some reason. <laughs> this must be so awkward that yeah, we get together. This is like a trope foreigner trope of this man has blonde hair and blue eyes. Oh my god, he's insanely attractive. <laughs> and then the other one was um Mother Spirit, which is oh, yeah, that one is a little different. Have read. <laughs> <laughs> it is about this guy wants to better his tribe, and so the prom principal or something at the school allows him to go to his university, and the teacher who ends up having to house him and all this other stuff ends up falling in love with him. I have read that and can confirm. Interesting. <laughs> A wild ride. I would have mentioned this atrocious. I like the lighter stuff, so one of my personal favorites that I've read watch the anime for 
So <laughs> it just has such a fantastic world building, like all these different characters and their personalities. And Luke, Luke. Quick an aside instead of an inside. Um, how many of y'all in here like Yuri on Ice? <laughs> and I'm about to crush all your dreams. No. Well, Yuri on Ice is wonderful. It's not technically BL, so. If you're walking around calling it BL, don't do that. Come on, it's a story about ice skating. It's not about them being in love, you know, arguably. Um, there's a uh, one called Dramatical Murder. Mm -hmm. uh, it's mostly the video game, the computer video game, has some extreme BLEBL. The anime doesn't have it too, too much, but it definitely. Yeah, Dramatic the Murder is pretty fun. It's a beautiful game, great art, great music, but my favorite part about the anime is when they accidentally sent the unfinished um, product to film, and they aired the unfinished version in Japan, and so people's faces look like they're sliding off. Oh yeah! <laughs> that was uncrunchable at first. I also really love Dramatic the Murder, but my favorite is a slice of black anime called Cory in the House. <laughs> no, yeah, sorry. I'm probably gonna butcher the name at no. the very beginning, but one I like is Goku Yume and My Hero, and the couples are really cute and adorable, and they just all around really cute. Yeah. And you also got a summer. <laughs> nice. Are you in love with Kosuke as much as I am? Everybody loves a hot teacher. <laughs> so I had to mention this because you were talking about giraffe necks and like terrible hands, and all I could think of was there's a there's a BL manga called well, it's got two names because it's either censored or censored. It's Sex Pistols or it's Love Pistols. The art is absolutely disgust. The story is interesting. They got like animal spear. Like half population is like. Consider monkeys, which are just regular humans, and they're, everyone else is like has animal spirits of varying like levels. It's kind of like an alpha, beta, omega kind of dynamics kind of deal, but it's good. But the art's so bad. Very fun. They have two Very OVAs. Fun. Everybody loves a good. Oh, they do have two OVAs, yeah. and the, the art's better than but the mangas. Hi, I'm your fluff advertisements for tonight. One of my personal favorite manga uh, at the end of my teenage years was Ritsa Tsukodama, which is essentially the trope of two boarding school roommate boys fall in love. Wonderful thing about it, though. They get to be characters who grow both individually as people and in their relationship. The writer, uh, Yoko Fujitani, I think has quite a fair stock of stories that, well, they just don't fall quite so far behind the line of, well, that's um, problematic. <coughs> There's one other in particular, and that's the letting me write forever. Same. <laughs> no Kano Muko by uh, Fujimoto Haruki, which is one of the best examples I have ever seen of a healthy established relationship where one of the men has to move for his job and the manga is essentially about them figuring out how to navigate and maintain a healthy relationship via this distance. I don't know, everybody loves a good long distance relationship. <laughs> uh, this came to mind because I remember uh, you're a fan of this one as well, with Jackass by Scarlett Verico. I bought that the other day. <laughs> right. Literally, I have no deeper reason for liking this manga other than legs and stockings. That's that's it. That's what I that's, bought it for. That, that's the manga. That's, that's true. Yeah. One of the most iconic lines from it is, 
the man goes, nobody can resist the combination of hard muscle under smooth nylon. And I think that's beautiful. <laughs> about a friend offering to buy his poor friend food because he's attracted to seeing him in a pair of stockings that he accidentally saw him wear. I mean, if I earned food for that, dang. This man will do anything for a hamburger is what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, $20 is $20. <laughs> I have two. One is called Seven Days. And oh, yeah. It's kind of a sweet one. It's about... Um, there's this guy in school who is known to only date girls for one week before breaking up. And the main character asks him out, and to his surprise, he said yes. And then the second one, I think the English title is something like Only the Flowers Now. In mm. Japanese, tell is Hana Shuzo, mm -hmm. or Hana, Hana no Mi Oshiro. <laughs> and that one's, um, a little more drama heavy, and it's about uh, these two university students that meet. Uh, Very cool. Loving it. I'm hijacking the mic. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Does anyone? All right. This goes against my bias. Does anyone watch Joe Yes. 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 Give it up for those BL movies. Oh, no. Anybody else? Yes. Not an official video, but then Deku and Shinzo from Not Your Shadowina, they make free free of them. Yeah, I'm open to hearing y'all ships. I'm ready to start a war up in here. Oh. <laughs> I want to see some people brawl. Everyone can have a few minutes. It's okay. We only have a few minutes. Yeah. So, if you got any last thoughts? You just want to spit in the mic? Come on, level with me. <laughs> If we're talking about ships, okay, this is an anime none of you know, and they already know what I'm going to say. Uh, yeah, oh, we do. <laughs> go ahead. It's called Card Fight Vanguard, oh, okay, here we go. and it's an anime, and it's about this guy named Aichi, who um, one day when he was really little was being bullied, and this kid comes up to him and is like, do you want to play Vanguard with me? And so he ta teaches him Vanguard, which is like Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, Basically. And then at the end, he gives him his card. And he finds him ten years, like, five years later, and is like, his card is stolen from him by this other dude who's trying to fight Kai. And... Okay, so they, okay, I'm going to fast forward, but the anime has been rebooted, and the ending song is basically Aichi's VA and Kai's VA singing a song, and there's a rainbow at the end. Okay, a rainbow, a freaking rainbow. I love this Beauty. long rant you just gave me. <laughs> I love it. About your obsession with Card by Vanguard. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would say all my ships, but they're from sports anime, and I'm too obscure for all y'all. <laughs> Not me. Does anyone appreciate Kaoru and Chichi from Evangelion? Yes. Uh, yes. Cool. yes. Big fan. Big fan of their work. <laughs> Alright, this is a technical. Uh, Boy Love Anime, it, they claim to be straight, um, the, it's called Toriko, and um, I ship him with the Chef Komatsu because it's a hunter and uh, chef partnership, and it's basically a proposal, and the chef cries at the end of asking to be his partner. Some of y'all are naming some straight people, <laughs> and I just want you to know, spaghetti is also straight until it gets hot. <laughs> Very true. And now I'm hungry. About, um, sports anime that we should probably mention free, which everyone says isn't gay, but we all know it's gay. <laughs> it's so borderline. <laughs> what do you mean borderline? That's the point. He's a homosexual, I can confirm. Uh -huh. I have this mic so I can say that. Uh -huh. <laughs> And of course, we all know that Mika and Yuichiro are gay for each other. Yes!
some syrup at the end up in here. Hell yeah. Forget that. All right. I think that is actually all the time that we have. So I'd like to thank you all for coming and watching me ramble and be kind of awkward. I uh, thank you for your time. I'm plugging myself on Instagram up there. If any of you want to follow me and send me your BL recommendations or tips to help me improve so I can hopefully become a better panelist and a better public speaker in general. So thank you for your time. I said we. We! As a collective oh, group. group. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs>